hello viewers and welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is shingles uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel you know and uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know and to visit the website you can click the link in the description area which is just below this website it will take you to the uh, website you know and uh, to subscribe uh, you can uh, click the red subscribe button just below this video uh, thank you very much now i come to the topic what are the shingles you know the shingles is an uh, infection which is caused by varicella zoster virus you know, so it's a viral infection and uh, uh, it's the same virus that causes chicken pox you know and uh, even after the chicken pox infection is over uh, the virus may live in your nervous system for years um, before reactivating as the shingles you know and the shingles may also be referred to as the herpes zoster you know okay so this type of uh, the viral infection is characterized by uh, red skin rash and uh, uh, it can cause pain and burning and the shingles usually appear as a, a strip of blisters on one side of the body and typically on the torso neck uh, or maybe on the face you know and the most uh, uh, cases uh, uh, of this condition uh, uh, they clear up uh, within two to three weeks you know and uh, uh, it's very very rare that uh, the shingles uh, uh, like uh, occur more than once in the lifetime you know but approximately one in three people uh, will have the shingles at some point in the life uh, uh, these are the statistics according to the uh, diseases and the uh, prevention center you know now the next thing is what are the symptoms of the shingles well the first symptom uh, of the shingles are usually pain and burning you know so these are the pain and burning you know and the pain is usually on one side of the body and occurs in small patches okay and the red rash typically follows you know and the uh, rash characteristics include uh, 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 like uh, red patches, uh, fluid filled blisters, a rash on the face and uh, the ears, itching and uh, fluid filled uh, blisters, you know, uh, that break easily. And some uh, people uh, may experience the symptoms uh, uh, like fever or maybe chills and headaches and uh, fatigue and uh, muscle weakness, you know, but these are rare, okay. Uh, and uh, there are some rare uh, but the serious complications uh, of the shingles and uh, they may include uh, like uh, the pain or the rash that involves the eyes uh, which could uh, uh, which should be treated in order to avoid the permanent eye loss you know or eye damage you know, in fact the vision loss you know or loss of hearing okay are the bacterial infections which may uh, have uh, if your skin becomes red or maybe swollen or uh, maybe warm to touch you know uh, so the shingles can occur in uh, anyone uh, who has uh, had the chicken pox uh, but the certain factors put uh, the people more at risk you know and those risk factors include like uh, if your age is over 50 years you know are having the diseases that uh, due to which you have the weak immune system you know like HIV or AIDS or cancer you know and uh, uh, if you're going through the chemotherapy or the radiation therapy which uh, affects your immune system you know and taking drugs which weak your immune system you know like steroids or the medications that uh, are given after the uh, organ transplant like liver transplant or any other body transplant you know so this way your immunity will uh, you will have less immunity you know so as a result you are at higher risk you know of getting any of these infections you know 
and uh, the shingles uh, uh, in the older adults and uh, is the most common in those who are between the ages of uh, like uh, 60 and 80 years you know and uh, uh, the senior citizens with the shingles uh, are more likely to experience complications uh, that in general the population including uh, more uh, like extensive rashes and bacterial infections from uh, open blisters you know and uh, they are also more uh, susceptible uh, to both pneumonia and uh, the brain inflammation you know so being seen by a doctor uh, early for the antiviral treatment is uh, very important you know and to prevent the shingles, uh, in case where you are over the age of 60 years, uh, you should receive the vaccine. And to relieve pain, uh, you can apply a cool, like uh, washed cloth to the blisters, you know, and to keep the rash covered uh, as uh, much as possible to avoid any spreading of this virus to others, you know. Okay. And, uh, uh, the getting shingles during pregnancy is uh, very unusual, uh, but it is possible. And if you come into contact with someone who has the chickenpox or the active shingle virus, you know, infection, you know, uh, you can develop the chickenpox. So if you have not been vaccinated, uh, you have, or if you have never had it before, you know, and uh, and depending on what uh, uh, like trimester you are in. Uh, chicken pox during pregnancy can result in birth defects, you know, and uh, getting a chicken vaccine before the pregnancy is important too. Uh, it's one step in protecting your child, you know. And the antiviral medications used to treat the shingles uh, can be used safely during the pregnancy, you know. Like antihistamines can also help to reduce itching or maybe uh, reduce the pain, you know, or other medications like uh, uh, Tylenol, you know. Uh, the most cases of the shingles can be diagnosed uh, with physical examination uh, for the blisters and the rashes. And your doctor will ask uh, the questions about the medical history, you know. Uh, do you ever had the chicken pox, you know, etc. You know? And uh, your doctor may need to test the sample of your skin or the fluid. Uh, to see uh, any kind of finding in the blisters, you know, and this involves using the sterile swab, maybe you know, to collect the sample of their tissue, you know, or maybe their fluid, you know, and the samples are then sent to the medical lab to uh, see under the microscope and the presence to confirm the presence of the virus, you know, and the, there are no cure, but the medications uh, are prescribed to. Uh, relieve the symptoms like pain and uh, burning sensation etc you know and uh, uh, the home treatments uh, can also help to ease the symptoms like rest or applying cold or applying the calamine lotion on those uh, uh, blisters you know uh, they will clear up within few weeks and uh, rarely it comes back you know but if your symptoms have not uh, reduced within 10 days you should consult your doctor you know and the potential complications may include like the eye damage or maybe the bacterial skin infections or maybe pneumonia or the brain or the spinal cord inflammation you know so these are and uh, uh, such as encephalus or meningitis you know so these can be life-threatening okay. thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website. One thing I was for going to forget was the uh, prevention. You know. A vaccine can help to prevent uh, the shingles. You know. uh, and all children should uh, receive two doses after chickenpox vaccine, which is also known as uh, varicella immunization. You know. And adults who never had the chickenpox should also get the vaccine. So this way, you can reduce the risk of getting the uh, shingles. Thank you very much. Goodbye.